Ferrari? Red Bull? Stay put? Brundle analyses Hamilton's future, Lewis Hamilton must decide whether to remain with Mercedes or move elsewhere for a final roll of the dice at claiming a record eighth Formula One title, according to Sky Sports F1's Martin Brundle. Expert analyst at M. Brundle F1 last updated, 15-03-23-603 AM Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player Lewis Hamilton must decide whether to remain with Mercedes or move elsewhere for a final roll of the dice at claiming a record 8th Formula 1 title, according to Sky Sports F1's Martin Brundle. The extension of Hamilton's current deal at Mercedes, which expires at the end of the 2023 season, had previously appeared to be formality, with both the 38-year-old and Mercedes boss Toto Wolff suggesting as much in recent months. However, Hamilton's apparent criticism of his team for failing to listen to him over the design of their new W14 car, which was off the pace of reigning champions Red Bull at the season opener in Bahrain, has led to renewed speculation over the Brits' future. Speaking on the Sky Sports F1 podcast ahead of this weekend's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Sky Sports pundit Brundle analyzed the situation Hamilton is facing. He said, I think it's absolutely clear that taking that eighth title is everything to him now, to move that high teed mark and be right up there and considered the greatest and have won more than anybody else is important to him, and I think he'll want to drive wherever he can achieve that. If he went to Ferrari, for example, would you be certain you could achieve that better there? They've got a number of their own challenges at the moment. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player, would he get in the door at Red Bull? Because that's the only place right now you'd think he could go to. Could you have a Verstappen Hamilton lineup? Could you afford them? Do you need that? Because I think Red Bull are quite happy with a number one and a one and a half driver in their car. So it's all very well saying he'll go somewhere else, but where at the moment? So he's better to make what he's got at a magnificent team work. Hamilton spent the first six seasons of his career with McLaren, before making a somewhat surprising 2013 move to a Mercedes team that had shown little sign of being a championship contender. However, the start of the sport's turbo-hybrid era would see Mercedes dominate, with Hamilton going on to win six titles in seven seasons. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player, going to Mercedes looked like a risk at the time, but what we didn't know was all the things that Ross Braun, Andy Cowell and many others could tell Lewis have a look at our hybrid power unit that we've got coming, we're miles ahead of anybody else. Lewis was able to see that. I don't think he'll have that kind of head start if he moves at the moment. He's obviously in the latter part of his career but I could easily see him having another five years, look at Fernando Alonso, he's three years older than Lewis and driving probably at his best, or at least equal best. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player Lewis has got one more roll of the dice to join a team and make them world champions and get all the accolades that he wants, so I think that's where he's at the moment. If in doubt, stay put, I would have thought would be what he's thinking. If I can make this work, that's my best solution, if not, I may have to look elsewhere. Despite concluding that staying at Mercedes appears to be Hamilton's best option, Brundle thinks that the Brit must be tempted to try to emulate fellow seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher by moving to Ferrari and turning around the Italian team's fortunes. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player, there's a lot of good reasons to stay at Mercedes, he just needs them to tell him how they're going to sort this out, but you know, Ayrton, Senna left McLaren to go to Williams, Schumacher went off to Ferrari, didn't he? And it took a long time, but they made that work. So these great drivers are not scared of going somewhere and then galvanizing and getting a lot of new people around them and making something happen. And I think there must be part of Lewis that thinks, you know, I'd love to go to Ferrari and do a Michael Schumacher and really turn that back into a winning team if I can't win my eighth or ninth right now why don't I go and have some fun there? I'm sure these are all playing in his mind and he'll be talking to his dad about this as well and his management team about where to go from here and that will be exacerbated by the dismal performance of the car in Bahrain. Thursday 2.30 p.m., Drivers' Press Conference, Friday 10.50 p.m., F2 Practice 1 p.m., Saudi Arabian GP, Practice 1, Session Starts 1.30 p.m., 
2.55 p.m., F2 qualifying 4.45 p.m., Saudi Arabian GP practice 2, session starts 5 p.m., 6.15 p.m., the F1 show, Saudi Arabia, Saturday 1.15 p.m., Saudi Arabian GP practice 3, session starts 1.30 p.m., 3.05 p.m., F2 sprint race 4 p.m., Saudi Arabian GP qualifying build up 5 p.m., Saudi Arabian GP qualifying Sunday 1.35 p.m., F2 feature race 3.30 p.m., Grand Prix Sunday Saudi Arabian GP build up. 5 p.m., the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 7 p.m., checkered flag, Saudi Arabian GP reaction watch the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix live on Sky Sports F1 this weekend with Sunday's race live at 5 p.m. Get Sky Sports.